So in the last demo, we were able to automate the creation of an analytics-ready data mart. The next step in enabling data ops is to provide a governed self-service catalog that data consumers can use to find and select the data they need. And that's where we can use Click Data Catalyst. It builds a smart data catalog, as you can see here, that is the result of enriching and preparing data from one or more sources. It allows data engineers and data stewards to securely provide validated and organized content to data consumers who can then select, share, or publish the data they need. So we're going to start by being the data engineer. Now, the data engineer is the person who's responsible for bringing in the data sets into the catalog. And we previously saw how Attuni loaded uh, some data into Snowflake. So I've loaded some of these Snowflake tables into Click Data Catalyst, and, and let's go take a look at the logs. So it looks like the first time when I uh, tried to load this table, there were some what we call ugly records here. Now I probably want to see what the problem is. And just clicking over here, I can see exactly what the problem was and what records these affected. Now it looks like uh, there was some unexpected non-ASCII characters in these particular rows, these 20 records. Uh, but I decide that that's OK. Um, so I change a setting in uh, Data Catalyst that's literally called Allow Non-ASCII Characters. Uh, and then I reran the load. And as you can see, the second time I ran it, I had all good record counts. So it's really easy for me to see uh, how the loads did of the loading the various data sources. OK, so now let's look at the second role. We're going to be now the data steward. Now, this is the person responsible for making sure the data catalog reflects the organization's naming and security standards. So first, I want to understand the uh, lineage of uh, data. You know, where did this data set come from? And I simply click on the lineage here, and I'll be able to see exactly all the way back where this data came from. I can see it originally was an SAP then a Tuni Replicate, then a Tuni Compose, and finally went into Snowflake, which in turn uh, got built into the catalog. So I can easily see uh, complete traceability on my data sets. An important issue for the data steward is how can they both allow uh, data consumers to have self-service access to the data, while also ensuring that any confidential or personal information is not visible. Now, Click Data Catalyst can easily handle this by allowing one to define powerful rules that automatically mask private information. Uh, for example, I can see in this data set here, and it may be a little hard to read, but it's saying that it's masking a number of fields. For example, the owner ID is masked using a character randomization uh, rule, uh, while the fax number is being replaced with all null characters. So I know already that there is some private information that's being kept private. Now, if I wanted to uh, mask uh, some data from Snowflake, I could do it myself, assuming I have the right privileges. So I'm going to go back to that uh, particular data set that we looked at before. And in this case, I'm looking through the particular fields, and I decide that this field needs to be uh, secure. It's sensitive information. So I simply click the sensitive button and then pick which masking rule I want to apply to it. And just like that, it is now masked from uh, public visibility. OK, so we start by being, the by being the data engineer and how Click Data Catalyst can profile and quality check the data when it's loaded. We then saw how the data steward can look at lineage and mask sensitive information. Now let's finish up by being the data consumer. And they're the person who wants to look for the data uh, that they need to perform some type of analysis. So for consumers, the catalog is like an interactive marketplace. I can see all the data entries that are part of the catalog. Every tile here represents a different entity or table of data that either we onboarded from a data source or we created within using the tools of Click Data Catalyst. So, if I wanted to look at some of the data, again, we'll look at the Snowflake data here. I can take a look at what is some sample data, so quickly understand you know, what is some of the data within this data set. See right here. 
i can also get a profile of the what is the distribution of data within a particular field so for example in this field here i could see that it looks like it a man is the most common observation followed by blank fisher etc i get and very easily understand what my data looks like so let's say we're now looking for a particular set of data i can use the search capabilities here and very quickly a search for data sets within this catalog that match the criteria I'm looking for. So I've done a search here and I want you to notice something here. The one on the right claims this is a QBD data set. So this is the click file format that many of you are familiar with. Uh, it can now be organized by Click Data Catalyst just like any other data source. And just as important, uh, QDC allows Click users to unlock this QBD data. So they can easily see the metadata within the QVD. Uh, they can also share this data with other applications, not just Click. Also note something that this QVD uh, data set, it doesn't have the word customer here. So how was the search able to find it? Well, you'll see that I applied a business name to it. Uh, and you can search for not just the title of these data sets, but also tags, business names, business descriptions associated with the data set, and it will find it for you. Okay, so in this case, I've decided it's the DIM customer data set that I want to analyze further. So just like if I'm on Amazon or another online marketplace, I add it to my cart. So now I can export it into a number of different uh, file formats or publish it to a variety of tools. It could be something like Tableau. I could publish this to Tableau. However, in this case, I'm going to publish it to ClickSense. And I actually have two choices here. I can create a new app uh, using this data set to create the new app, or I can add this data to an existing app. And that's what I'm going to do here. So I see a list of apps that I can add it to. I also can decide where in the app I want to start from. And I just select the app I want to put this into. And this is a great example of the tight integration uh, we're developing between Click Data Catalyst and ClickSense. And there we are. I'm in the data manager. Here's all the uh, existing data, data tables that are already in the app and the new data set that I just added in. So very quickly, I can start analyzing this data together with my previous data. So hopefully you've seen that how Click Data Catalyst can take in, clean up, organize, and secure data from multiple sources, including QVD files. And then Click Data Catalyst can enable data users to select the data they need and publish it to multiple tools for analysis.